Hi, in this video today we're going to be fixing up this Asus laptop which is not displaying. So I know what's wrong with it because I've already done a previous video on it on one of my other channels. So the cable that goes from the motherboard to the screen has broken and I did a temporary repair on it but with all the flexing of opening and closing it's lasted a few months and then it's failed again. So I knew it was going to fail so I bought one from China already. The model number of this ASUS laptop is UX310U. So now as you can see it is actually on at the moment. If you look here you can see it is on but yet nothing's happening on screen. So let's take it apart, swap it over and then hopefully it will be operating again. So the bits that I'm going to be using in this video are a Torx T5 and a PH00. So that's like a Torx bit here and a small Philips. So make sure you're working on something which isn't going to produce a lot of static electricity or wear an ESD strap or both. So I'm going to be undoing the screws around the edge here using the Torx bit. And now we're going to grab under this bit here and we're going to ease it out like so. Now because we're going to be working on the screen we want to kill power to the laptop so we're going to be undoing the battery connection here by undoing this screw here and this screw here using the Phillips. and remove the battery and put it aside in a safe place. Now we're moving to the top right hand side of the laptop here and I want to undo this connection. Now yours will not have captain tape all over it. This was uh, this was basically a buy from eBay so it had already been messed around with a little bit. There we go, so you just pull that out by moving it back towards the hinge. So that is the cable we're going to be replacing today. Now we need to pry off this back bit here. Now remember this laptop has been apart and bashed around before so this is going to come off a lot easier than your one. You can see it's had to be glued because the tabs have already snapped. But if I take that bit out there you will probably need to use a pry tool to get that out. Then I can lift this out here like that. Right now what we can do is we can open it up gently making sure you don't break it, so try to hold it down by the hinges down here. Now hopefully on your one you will have two screws in here and here. They're missing on this one because this was a classic eBay buy, but uh, once you do that it will allow you then to start to lift off the bezel around the screen. So obviously be gentle with this because the plastic is very thin and it wouldn't take much to break it. There we go, so it's just clipped in all the way around on various different clips. Now on your one, I'm thinking that there would be screws in the top corners here, here, so undo those, and also here and here. But of course on this one <laughs> they are missing. But anyway, you can see now if we gently lift up this screen, now obviously be very careful with this bit here because they're, uh, these screens are expensive. There we go. Right, so if we lift up the screen and gently place it down, we now have another connector here. Again, your connector will not have the captain tape on it, this yellow tape. So with this one we're going to be moving it down in the corners here and this will come away this way going downwards. So if you grab onto it and gently pull it down you can see how it comes out. Like that. Yeah. So normally you would have the tab here that you can just pull that back and hopefully that will push away that way there. So I'm going to remove the screen and put it away to one side so we don't damage it. Now we have to remove the cable that goes up and feeds the webcam because that also runs down the same cable here. So just unhook it from here and just start moving it away from here. Remember the path that it takes. 
Now with this connector up the top, we want to lift it out towards the top of the laptop. So I'm just going to gently ease it out. There we go, you can see now that that's come out. So now we will be able to take this cable out once we undo these three screws for this hinge here. Again, this is just still using the Phillips bits that I showed you earlier. So hopefully this will now separate from the top part there and it will allow us now to pull out this old cable. There we go, so that's the old cable gone. So I'm just gonna have a look at the new cable, make sure it looks the same. Right, so I've compared them and although the markings are slightly different, the connectors seem to be the same. So the webcam and the motherboard side and the screen side, they all look to be the same size. I'm hoping it's gonna work. It was advertised as one for this one here, even though the uh, numbers are slightly different on it. So just in case you're curious, I'll show you the numbers on both. So this is the original numbers here. So you can pause that and have a look at it. And this is the replacement one I've got here. So let's get this installed. Now when you're looking at it, obviously this is the side that's gonna go into the motherboard because there's just the one cable. These two are gonna go up to the screen and the webcam. So I'm gonna be plugging in this side now to uh, get it all set up. So we have a little sticky bit here. And it looks like we also have a sticky bit here. I wonder is that supposed to be stuck down? Yeah, maybe it is. Okay, I'm gonna peel both of them off. And let's plug it in by lining it up and forcing it this way now. There you go, that clips into place nicely. I'm gonna stick that down there and stick that down there. Right, so hopefully that will be a nice secure connection. What we have to do is we have to just wrap it loosely at the moment round that bit there. And then we have to do up these three screws. We can get it into place in a minute. Now I'm not gonna do the screws up tight, I'm just gonna do them so that they're just slightly in. Okay, so they're just located in, but they're not done up. So now let's open it up and let's see if we can get this cable in the correct position. So it needs to go up into that little groove here. Now we have to run the webcam one up to where it's home. So what I'm gonna do is because I don't know how tight it's gonna be this side and there's not a lot of room, let's do this side first and then the slack can go back into the laptop by the motherboard on this side. So I'm gonna do this side first. So all we have to do is line it up and push it into place like so. Now root it in the little grooves that you have, the same way that you undone it. Right, and there's a tiny little bit of uh, sticky tape here as well. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna line that up with this bit here. So actually quite a lot of the cable needs to be pulled back in towards the motherboard. And I'm gonna line that up and stick it down here, like so. Right, now I can run this one along here. Right, so we're gonna be pushing it in this way. And there you go, you can see that that's just clipped into place there. And I'm gonna be sticking this down on top of it, like so. Right, we can see the problem I've got here. Yeah, you can see that the new one is much longer than the old one. So I'm gonna have a difficulty now trying to get rid of all this cable here, which is a, which is a real shame. So obviously this is not just a direct replacement. Right, well what I'm gonna do before I go any further, because I don't wanna spend hours trying to work out how to get rid of this if it's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna pop the battery back in. Let's just see if it is actually working or not. Let's see what I can do with this. I think I'm gonna to have to try to lose it up here somewhere. 
yeah, I think I'm going to have to put it under the screen here, and the screen in this part will be bulged out a tiny bit, which isn't ideal. There's not really much I can do. Unless the other option, of course, is to unravel it all and try to pull the cable down, but then you see if I unravel it, there's going to be no strength on the hinge, which is where the original one failed in the first place, through the hinge. Right, to save blowing anything on the motherboard, I'm just going to shut it down. and take out the battery once it's off. Now, although there wasn't any screws around here, because like I said, this was already from eBay and things were missing, I'm just putting one screw just in this bottom corner here. I'm hoping that will pull the screen into that area, because otherwise the bezel's not gonna fit flush. So now let's see if the uh, bezel's gonna clip in. Not too bad, actually. It's not really clipping in there. Uh, but it's not far off. I think I'm gonna see if I can find some screws for here and here, and I reckon that might be just enough to hold that bezel in place. So I found a little screw for there and there as well, and it has pulled it in nicely, but you can still see that it is raised on this bit here. So there's not really much I can do about that. But the thing is, it wasn't working before, and it's working now, so I think it's a small price to pay. Right, so I'm just gonna get the cover back on, give this a clean up, and we'll finish up the video with it working. So with this bit here, you're gonna put the flat side of it, because you can see the way it's shaped. The flat side is gonna to go towards the back off the laptop and it's just gonna click into place. When we put the battery back in, we have to make sure we put these tabs in first. So the tabs on this side go into these little holes here. So angle it like that and then drop it down into place and do up the two screws. Okay, it's all back together now and it feels solid again. I'm just gonna give everything a nice good clean up. And hopefully then when we turn it on at the end, it will be working well. So here we have it all cleaned up and working perfectly. So although it was a little bit of a headache because the cable was a different version, at least it's working now and it wasn't working before. Cosmetically, it is now raised ever so slightly just here, but I think unless you were to point it out to somebody, nobody would notice that. It's only about one or two millimeters there, but functionally, it works perfectly. When you close the lid and open it again, everything works as it should do. So the bottom line is it wasn't working before and it's working now, so I'm happy with it and my daughter will be happy as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this repair. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for other videos. Take care, everyone.